Welcome to Mixology Art, my lovely friends. Welcome to another episode in which I'll be showing you how to make the four citrus shrub, which I used to create a cocktail called the Timeless Rita, which you can see on Just Shake or Steer channel, on my second channel. But today we're gonna break down the cocktail in ingredients. So the cocktail was created to be 100% sustainable, which means every bit of the fruit or the citrus in this case, which I'm gonna use, was prepared to be used in the cocktail. So we'll be preparing a lovely four citrus shrub. Then in the next video, which I'm gonna break down this episode because otherwise it's gonna be too long. In the next episode, I will prepare the ole sacrum, the four citrus ole sacrum with the peels from the same fruit. And in the last episode, I'll be preparing the four citrus sea salt sugar which I use to rim my glass for the Timeless Rita and it's made from the peels which we use for the Ole Sacrum then converted, dried and made to a lovely delicious four citrus sea salt. So as you can see nothing from this fruit is going to be wasted apart from the white pith of the citrus which we don't want to be anywhere near to any of the ingredients and of course, some of them contain seeds, which is gonna be discarded. So shrubs has been very popular since 17th, 18th century, especially in England, they was created and served in a mixture with rum or a brandy or a cocktails. Of course, the history go further back, colonial America, maybe like 15th century, something like that. The shrubs is being created as a medical tonic more bartender mixologists trying to use shrubs because it's sustainable, they have an extremely long shelf life and the variety of shrubs you can create is pretty much endless. Now the process is very simple, it's basically macerating a fruit with the sugar until you extract the oils and the flavors with the sugar then basically strain the fruit which you can keep to use for a cooking or cakes or anything else and mix this lovely sweet fruity sugar with a quality apple cider vinegar and you preserve it for up to few years to be honest and then you can use this as a part of your cocktail recipe or you can just drink a little amount mixed with a tonic or lemonade or soda water whatever you desire they are nice healthy drinks because they're 100% fruit a natural sugar and a natural apple cider vinegar. That's the basic. And the ratio for uh, creating a perfect shrub, it's usually equal parts of the fruit, of the sugar and the vinegar. So many shrubs or in general the shrubs, most of the time you can see the recipe it says use caster sugar or a fine sugar, which is absolutely fine, but you don't have to stop there. In my recipe today, for example, I am using uh, orange blossom honey. So your sweetener could be anything but keep it natural okay now some shrubs it will be better with demerara sugar for example if you do an apple shrub it will be fantastic with demerara sugar also the vinegar it's not always has to be an apple cider vinegar i will be making few different shrubs here on the channel so i can show you the diversity of the shrubs when you can use pretty much so many different ingredients to find the perfect flavor i will be doing a grape shrub which I'm gonna be using a rice vinegar for this. We'll do some berry shrub when we're gonna use a little bit of balsamic vinegar as well. So it depends on the fruit. We're gonna try to match a different vinegar. We may use some champagne vinegar if we may probably make a pear shrub, which we'll probably do because I wanna present a different ways, a different techniques and a different flavors to you. So you can experiment at home and of course trying different cocktails. Today for this four citrus shrub you're gonna need one pink grapefruit, one orange, two lemons and three limes. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna peel the fruit because we want this peel to be used for the ole sacrum which I'm gonna make in the next episode and then we're just gonna use the juice from this fruit. So give me a few minutes to peel all the fruits and I'll be back.
Okay, I have the fruit peeled and I have my zest here ready for Ole Sacrum, which I'll upload it in the next episode. So it's a different video, short and quick. So I'm gonna leave this on the side because we don't need it today. And there you have it. The fruits, it's peeled as much possible. Now all you need to do is juice these fruits and match the quantity of the juice with the equal quantity of apple cider vinegar and sugar. In my case, as I mentioned, I'm using orange blossom honey, but if you don't want to use honey, you can use demerara sugar or caster sugar, anything which you prefer. Now, if you're using a sugar uh, with a real fruit, it's a maceration period, so you can just cut the fruit and put the sugar to extract the juice. But in this case, that's a very quick shrub, which is basically, you have a guest, you want to do this margarita, you want a shrub, you make it quick. It will take you literally 20 minutes, okay? So I'm going to juice this and I'll be back again. Okay, my friends, the juice is ready. Everything is on the side here. We're going to keep it nice and clean. And we end up with 400 milliliters of juice. Now, this is mean if you use sugar, use around 400 grams of sugar. And of course, <coughs> excuse me, a 400 milliliters of apple cider vinegar. And that's it. Now, all you need to do is mix all together in a sterilized jar. Definitely needs to be clean. And then leave it on the side for a three, four days to develop. You can keep it in the fridge or you can keep it outside, but somewhere where it's non direct sunlight, just put it nicely on the shelf in the room temperature and you'll be absolutely fine. Another thing I will suggest here, it's not necessary, it doesn't really matter, but if you can, when you're putting your juice in the jar, get a sieve and try to stop some of the pulp coming inside in the shrimp. Not necessarily, but it's much better, okay? So I need... There we go. Find my funnel. I'm always prepared. Kind of. There you go. First I'm gonna put my juice. I know it's 400 mil. So slowly I'm gonna stop some of the pulp coming in. I basically just want the juice, okay? If you find a little bit kind of a going slowly, just get a bar spoon or any spoon and just move the pulp around the sieve because my sieve it's really really fine. It's very it doesn't let anything go through. So another way you can do it is with a cheesecloth if you want. It's not necessarily to be a sieve, depends what you have at home. But just to show you. See, it's keep going and that's how much pulp I have already in. Like I mentioned, it's not a problem. If you prefer to have the bits inside in the shrub, that's entirely up to you. Me, I don't like them inside in the shrub, so I prefer to basically discard. So I'm gonna get one of these gray for turn it around and use it as a small container just to keep some of the pulp inside. Don't make mess too much. And let's pour the rest of it. So trust me, once you try a shrub in a cocktail or even drink it as it is, you get hooked up to this because it's always going to be there for you. It's always going to be on the shelf. Anytime you want just a soft drink or you want to use it in a cocktail, it'll be just there. Nice and easy. You don't need to make uh, every time. You can just prepare a bottle like that once it's getting to the end, finish. Or if you're fancy and you like your shrub, whatever you prepare, just make a few bottles. As I mentioned, some of them with the good ingredients, you can literally use them a couple of years, okay? Obviously use your judgment. Every time when you have a shrub made and you open it, if it doesn't smell right, or it's something dodgy around there, or it's just, just not right, just discard it, okay? Don't risk it. End of the day, it's your health. So make sure you don't go crazy about it. Okay, so we have 400 milliliters of citrus juice here. 
We're gonna need 400 milliliters around of honey. Now my jar is 350, so I'm gonna go with 350. However, as I mentioned, it's one to one, but you don't have to do exactly because I do one to one and I like it. But you may prefer to be a less sweet or you may want to be a more sweet, so then you're gonna have to add more honey. In this case, I'm gonna use the whole jar of the orange blossom honey. Uh, also here with the sweetness, when I'm pouring this honey, it's gonna take a little bit. If you, for example, do a grape shrub, which we're gonna do on the channel, and this grape shrub is gonna be made with a rice vinegar. So it's more light, more delicate, the grape is more delicate. In this case, I'll be using acacia honey because the acacia honey is much really well with the grape and it's more delicate and light. So again, you can play this with the sweetness here, with the different ingredients. Yeah, so it's entirely up to you what you want to create. There we go. I'm happy with that. It will be a little left in the jar, but hey, I'm going to use it on a toast after. Now, as you can see, honey is going to push everything. Not a problem. You can mix it if you want. You can mix with a bar spoon like that. Or once the shrub is ready, you can give it a really good shake until everything is mixed together. Leave it to sit for a day, they give it another shake and slowly this honey is going to incorporate with the citrus, with the vinegar and it's not going to separate anymore, okay? I'm just going to give it a little kind of a mix now. Okay, next part, the last one and we are done is the apple cider vinegar. Get a good quality apple cider vinegar and if you can get one, like which I have here with the mother inside, with the fresh apple, you'll be fantastic because it's so delicious, okay? But if you can't, try to find a quality one, 100% natural, okay? Do not buy anything with added preservative or, or anything added to it. It needs to be natural because that's what you're doing here. You're doing a natural citrus fruit, a natural honey, and a natural apple cider vinegar. This is going to preserve your shrub for a long time, and it's going to be 100% natural without any added things which we don't want, okay? So, we say we have 400 ml of the juice. So, let's see how much vinegar I have in this bottle, because I'm going to have to open the other one, probably. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm going to need the other bottle, so I'm going to go and take it. Be back in a second. I didn't mention, I was supposed to mention in the beginning, but that's the first shrub which I did. Uh, it's been, a, what, two weeks now? Half of it is nearly gone. Delicious margaritas. Anyway, I'm back with the other bottle, okay? I knew it is not going to be enough, because every time when you squeeze this fruit, it's different. Like last time when I did, it was around 300 ml, the juice. So I did less, but today is different. So there we go. We're gonna go to uh, 400 ml. And I think hopefully that's gonna fit the whole bottle. Yeah, look at that. Just to the top, perfect. That's it. Let's put it here. Keep everything dirty in one place. Don't need that bottle. Now, if you are wondering, this is a OCU. It's, uh, I think it's a Japanese uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be available to you. If you're watching from England, this is available in Asda. Okay, if uh, this is it. It's available in Asda. You know it's a good one because it's 100% natural. It's cost a little bit more than usual vinegar. But yeah, so close your jar really good. And just give it a, like that, a little, no shake, but just mix. And your shrimp is gonna be ready. So what you can do now, obviously the honey is gonna take a little bit more to dissolve inside. So check it out in about five, six hours, shake it again, tomorrow again, and just leave it for a three, four days to develop the test. Now in my original recipe, which I did for the Timeless Rita, I have inside a spoon of turmeric. That's another beauty of the shrubs, which I want to mention. 
you can play with the herbs and spices. So once you have your shrub ready, you can, for example, make strawberry and sage. Fantastic. Or pineapple and mint. So I'm going to be exploring all the shrubs flavors here on this channel. So we're going to make a quite a few. And uh, if you want to stick around, make sure you subscribe because many recipes coming like that. And it's going to be very interesting to see if you do some of them and what you think about it. And we exchange some ideas. But yeah, this is it for today. I hope uh, you're going to try this shrub. Make it quick. Check just shake or steer. I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you want to try the Timeless Rita, the Margarita, which I did for the Contro Margarita Challenge this year. But if not, make sure you stick around, subscribe, like. Check the next episode when we're going to do the Ole Sacrum from the peels from the citrus and the episode after when we're going to create the lovely four citrus sea salt for the Margarita. And yeah, I'll see you soon with another episode. And yeah, more shrubs coming. Stick around, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.